when God made man, there was a deposit inherent in it, ability in every man that God added in the first creation of man. But this ability, if subject to God's will, makes man the strongest lead creation of God amongst all of his creation. He becomes the strongest because of this inherent innate ability that God had deposited in man. Outside the will of God, man becomes the most vulnerable, weak, an instrument in the hand of the devil because of this same ability. There is an ability in every man that Satan is after. That innate ability is the ability to advance by hybridization. The ability of man to advance into multiple abilities, capabilities, nature, excellence. Man has the ability to move from one level to another, from one dimension to the other. Man has the ability to upgrade. And because of this hybridization abilities within mankind, Satan becomes highly interested in this ability. And if you narrow your interest on the context of the creation of man, you will agree with me that man had three major migrations or what I call advancement through the principle of hybridizations. No other creature of God can hybrid. Because you see, originally God created man in his image and this is the intention, the plan, and of course, the ultimate supreme purpose for which God created man. God wanted to tabernacle in man and begin to evolve in man. God wanted to show forth his abilities, his nature, his character, his goodness, his eternal essence through the medium of man. So there are billions and trillions of creatures of God that don't know who God is. So the manifestations of God would have to come through the image bearers of God. And for any aspect of God's advanced nature to be made known to any civilization or creation of any realms, man would have to hybridize. Man would have to be upgraded in order to develop capacity to contain that excellence of God. Now, and that's why the devil is after mankind. We can become anything. Oh, God. We are coming to a point where the school system will end so that we can elevate to the trees in the garden and be educated by the mysteries of the trees of gardens. 
You know, it was a tree that Adam and Eve ate from and they went into another realm. They downgraded. You see, trees will either upgrade you or degrade you or downgrade you. Instead of trying to read books and try to go to school, you, you, you are limiting, you, you just narrow yourself to one profession, yet your capacity is infinite. Have, have you ever wondered, have you ever wondered who taught the first doctor? Who taught the first civil engineer? Men had access to knowledge. Knowledge is a spirit. Wisdom is a spirit. Intelligence is a spirit. Counsel is a spirit. Might is a spirit. Faith is a spirit. Understanding is a spirit. These are powerful forces in the heavenly realms. They are our dominions to possess. New York, USA, are you ready? The demonstration of the Spirit and Power Conference with the Bond Servant of Christ, John. Dates 23rd through 25th, May 2024. Thursday, 7 p.m., Friday, 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., Saturday, 9 a.m. Venue, Joseph A. Floriano Rochester Convention Center, 123 East Main Street, New York, 14604. Tickets are free for all. Come and receive freely from God. There is no cost charge to receive prayer or to consult the man of God. The conference is free. Dimensions of the Spirit. War against the Prince of Darkness and the atmosphere of Sydney, Australia. With the bond servant of Christ, John. Venue, Sydney Olympic Park. The Dome, Sydney, Australia. Hall 5 and 6. Date, 8th through 10th, May 2024. Wednesday the 8th, time 5 p.m. Thursday the 9th, morning 10 a.m., evening 6 p.m. Friday the 10th, morning 10 a.m., evening 6 p.m. Register online to get your free tickets. www.keepthefaithministry.org slash conference.